came to me the other day and said, uh, listen, I have a product for you to try, and uh, we're going to use it on the way to Texas. And I said, well, what are we going to Texas for? And she said, well, we're going to do one of your bucket lists, which is uh, taking a ride on a jet. And she goes, I want you to put this in the fuel. And of course, my first thing is, I have a diesel, honey. I said, it's probably for gas engines. It's not for diesels. And she goes, no, it is. I've talked to a friend of mine, and they like the product, and it works. And I want you to try it. So I did. We drove from Tennessee to Texas. And my fuel mileage averages usually 18, 19 around town. Not too much of a difference on highway, but diesels are, if you own one, you know that miles per gallon is direct associated with how fast you're going. Usually diesels, 55, 60, maybe 65. After that, it just completely dies. Well, I used the product, and uh, if I remember correctly, she was telling me to use uh, do two tanks to start seeing the difference. Well, about halfway down, I started noticing I'm definitely not doing the speed limit. I'm definitely doing over the speed limit. You know how the highways are nowadays. If you're not doing 80, 85, you're standing still. So I was going with the flow of traffic and I looked down and I'm getting 21 miles per gallon. And again, if you own a diesel, you know all about speed. I was impressed. So we started using this product. It's uh, Extreme MPG. And here it is, this is the tablets and also small engine tablets, and they have a liquid. We used it in her car. She has a BMW, and uh, about a year ago, the gas, the uh, engine light came on, and we brought it to the mechanic, and they said, oh, does your wife, instead of when you, you fill it up, it clicks, does your wife sit there and just top it off, top it off, top it off? I said, yeah. He said, what happens is it overflows to a sensor and a canister, and, and it screws up the sensors. He said, it'll be about $3,000, give or take, two to three, he said, I wouldn't worry about it. He goes, just ignore the light. So it was c coming on, going off, coming on, going off again for about a year. We started using this product and knock on wood, it went out. It has not come back on. Um, there's many things that the product helps with fuel mileage. Um, you can use it to increase your octane. If you have a higher end car that uses a higher end fuel, then you could use this product and go to the lower octane and not have any knocking. Um, help us out with emissions and Lord knows everything is about uh, trying to make everything cleaner, greener, and this will help. And it also helps out maintaining your fuel, uh, fuel system. So I'm going to be doing several tests over the next, I guess, month or so, um, using small engines, using the vehicle, different vehicles, and trying to share with you the outcome of what we see. Everything on the internet is sell, 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 and buy, buy, buy. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of salespeople, you know, but like my wife said, you're not selling a product, you're not selling a couch, you're selling something that'll help them keep more money in their pockets. So again, we're gonna try to go through it. I'm not myth, buff, myth, woo, myth busters. I don't, uh, I have no way of of getting to the finite portion of everything, but I think a common sense approach to it and comparing with and without um, should be enough to help you make a decision and to prove if the product's worth your time and your money. So here we go. We're going to start a journey and we'll see how it goes.